What is going on, you beautiful people of YouTube? And welcome back to another video. We got some amazing updates to the game recently. And yes, I know, I'm a little late to the party. But I had so many other videos to choose from. So I'm sorry, please forgive me. <laughs> okay, so on Friday, we got a team update roadmap adjustment from AGS. Now, I'm not going to beat a dead horse and just do a react to it because there are many other people who have already done that. And most likely, you probably already looked at the roadmap yourself. So, if you haven't, I recommend supporting the other Lost Ark channels out there. Watch their video, give them a subscribe and like, and then come back here. And I'd like one too, please. We are growing super fast and I'm so grateful for all of you who stick around and watch this bozo talk in a microphone. With that said, if you want a quick summary for the roadmap, here it is. Behemoth is lowered to item level 1620 and released on September 11th. So that's in about three weeks from this recording. So if you're already 1620, fantastic. You don't need tier four item level boost to do this raid. So no need to panic anymore. Just focus on your transcendence and your elixirs. Okay, continue on. Tier 4 is being released on October 9th, so it's about a month after Behemoth. The A gear raid is released October 16th, which is only a week after Tier 4 is releasing. We can talk more about this part later in the video. Anyway, those are the main points and there are other things they mention like being more receptive to feedback, Trying to improve the game. Amazing stuff, really. I do hope they are being serious. Now that we're all caught up, let's talk about this roadmap. First things first. Behemoth item level being lowered. Yeehaw! This is why I love America. AGS, you beautiful creatures, you. This is an amazing start to not burning out your players. Now, I don't know how much of a nerf Behemoth is going to get, but it better be good. I pray that this is not the same situation as Echidna. We need those nerfs as soon as possible. I mentioned this in my AGS We Need to Talk video. Shoutouts to that video, go check that out. We need easier raids. Leave difficult raids to hell mode and tie some other juicy rewards like Tidal there, like you already are doing. Let the Sweat Lords do that mode and leave weekly raids easy. For the casual players, or even the veteran players that are burnt out. It's a weekly raid. It should be easily cleared every single week. I don't want to be 10 minutes into my raid, and then one person dies in my echidna, and we have to restart. This is absolutely toxic and needs to go. You should still be able to clear even with a few dead. That is the point of a weekly clear. To expect every single person to play perfectly, DPS perfectly, dodge perfectly, doesn't sound quite right. I also have some trauma from the Korean streamers saying that the Echidna was a breeze. And they also said Behemoth is a piece of cake. Like a Trixian dummy is how they quoted it. So is Behemoth actually going to be a challenge for Global? We'll really have to see here, but I hope the nerfs really give a statement to the players that yes, AGS does respect our time. Yes, this game does respect our time. AGS, you should know our player base by now. Global on average is not very good. Now, is it because we are more under geared than many of the Koreans? Maybe. Someone in my comment section mentioned that this isn't true and a streamer actually said that we were ahead in gear. Hey, maybe both are true. Global just sucks, even though we have better gear, who knew? I couldn't care less whatever is true. Just that the fact is, we need some nerfs. We can't apparently clear it as effectively as Korea. So AGS, help us out a little. Behemoth, Aegir, the new Brelshaza, and the others. Let's not have another Thamine, another Echidna. I hope you relay this to Smilegate because something like Feymine should only really be an exclusive raid for players who want a challenge, which you kind of did with the, um, the hard mode gate four, which is not necessary to clear, as well as the first mode. 
keep that kind of the first mode separate and then lower hard mode difficulty absolutely to the ground. It should be cleared very easily. I am one of those players that love a challenge and even I think it's exhausting to pug hard mode they mine every week on multiple characters and see several people die or people doing less than 20 mil DPS etc. Even if people are dying and people are doing less than optimal DPS, the raid should still be able to be cleared as long as a majority of people are still alive. Now I went on a little rant and I apologize for that, but now we can talk about the A gear release date of October 16th. Personally, I feel like it's a little too soon. This is just my opinion. I remember too many times when a boss was released while a new system was released just a few weeks prior. It was difficult to play around with the new system when we had to raid instead and prog instead. It would be nice to be able to play around with tier 4 a bit, not too long, but you know, let us get familiarized with it before a gear comes out. It's also just a matter of fact that you won't be able to get all your tier 4 gear in that one single week, I don't believe, so then it's dumb to have a gear available so soon. What's with the rush? AGS and Smilegate probably have their own thoughts and opinions regarding this, but I am all for a slight delay in a gear release. Will they listen? We shall see. But let me know what you think. Do you think the A gear is being released too soon or are you comfortable with it? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so we talked about most of the new games from the updated roadmap. And overall, I do think it's a W. I would rate it a 8 out of 10. There is definitely some improvements being made and I hope to see a lot more changes because we really do need them for everyone to have a good time in Lost Ark. Thank you all for watching and if you're still watching here, what up my pineapple gang? I appreciate you all and if you are new to the pineapple gang, make sure to comment pineapple in the comment section and also make sure to click on that subscribe button for more videos like this one. Before I sign off, I will show you guys the end of this video. This is the video titled 1620 Emperor Arcana Gate 2 Echidna Clear MVP. So I will skip to the end here. You guys can see the raid finish. Oh, go back a little bit more. Okay. So with this, I will end and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Eternia, Eternia. Jesus Christ. If you're still watching by now, I hope you were enjoying this cutscene, you know, one of the goaded cutscenes of all time. Um, also, what I was typing here is because I'm, I'm just playing fun with him because this soul leader was calling out another person in the lobby. And I'm personally against that. You know, you shouldn't really call out other people. Focus on yourself. They know they did wrong. And he just kept calling out somebody. So that's why I said it would be a cleaner run if Soul Leader didn't get charmed. And I said, it's okay, Soul Leader. Yeah, so there it is. Um, I didn't get Cruel Fighter MVP, but I did get the MVP. You know, Arcana Trash. That's what it is. All right. 
Take care, everyone.